I'm Bob Scott. I work with NIMS and Associates, and we're going to be talking about Acumatica approvals and the approval processes in Acumatica. Our agenda is to discover what an approval is in Acumatica, what transactions and records can be approved, talk about the approval configuration, and uh, what an actual approval process looks like using purchase orders. What is an approval? An approval in Acumatica is a business process where a transaction or a record cannot be finalized until a authorized person approves them. There's processes in Acumatica where you create these predefined approvals, mappings, and these approval mappings are applied to transactions and records in Acumatica. The approval process can be based on certain attributes of the transaction, including dollar value, the department, the employee who created the transaction belongs to, certain coding on the transaction, including general ledgers, inventory, specific vendors, customers. Approvals can be multi-level, meaning that an approval can go through multiple steps to be complete. So when an approval is initially started, it could be approved by a single person, but then once that person approves it, it can go to another person, perhaps a manager, to provide a second level of approval. Notifications like emails and texts can be sent to approvers to notify them and alert them that an approval is necessary for them. Elements that can be approved in Acumatica. Acumatica provides for a robust infrastructure for approvals. Elements that can be approved in Acumatica include purchase orders, purchase requisitions and requests, sales orders, AR invoices, sales order invoices, AP invoices and prepayments, leads, cases, and opportunities in the CRM system, in the project management system, projects, engineering change orders, time cards, and other project-related transactions, and cash transactions. All of those offer opportunities to set approvals. Approval configuration. Approval configuration typically is a three-step process. The first is to define the approval process. The second is to set that definition in the particular module's configuration. So, for example, if we set a purchase order approval process and define that, then we'd go to the purchase order module and set that as the default approval process. Step three would be to configure any alerts that are necessary for approval. To define the approval process in Acumatica, navigate to configuration. And under configuration, there are two elements that could be used in the approvals. If we're having groups of people eligible to approve, you probably want us to configure the company tree. The company tree enables groups of people to provide approval processes within Acumatica. So, for example, in the finance group, any of these people could be eligible to approve a low-level purchase order. In addition to the company tree, assignment and approval maps specifically tell the transaction what the approval process is going to be. If we look at this one here, purchase order two-step group approval, we can see that there's two steps to this purchase order approval process. One is that anybody in the finance team is going to be allowed to approve a purchase order. It's only looking to see if the purchase order is on hold and that a certain work group is not empty. The second level of the approval is for purchase orders of a larger dollar amount. So when a purchase order is above $5,000, this person, Michael Andrews, is going to be notified that he's got an approval to process. In the purchase order module, under purchase order preferences, you set that you want to be able to require approvals on purchase orders and which approval mapping is going to be used for the system as a whole. If there are any alerts that are necessary for approvals, that's done under system management notification template. Acumatica has a robust email capability where emails can be sent for a variety of reasons. 
In this case, we're setting up a email notification to say that there is a new approval for a particular user to be processed. An example of a, approval in Acumatica would be for a purchase order. An example of a, an approval process in Acumatica could be for purchase orders. In order to save time, I've pre-entered a purchase order. But we can see that Acumatica is wanting somebody in the finance group to approve this transaction. I can see that this transaction is needing to be approved because the status of it is pending approval. I happen to be a member of the finance group, so I'm going to go ahead and approve it. Approvals can also be done from time and expenses and from an approval dashboard where all approvals will appear that are related to that user. If the approval mapping dictates that there's multi-levels of approvals, that same purchase order can show up that this executive needs to be the, the secondary approver. That's because on our approval mapping, we had anything above a $5,000 threshold require a second level of approval from Michael Andrews, who's an executive. I'm gonna log in as Michael Andrews and complete the approval process. In each step of the approval process, an email or a text message could have been emailed or sent to the person responsible for the approval. And from the link provided on the email or the link provided in the text, they could have initiated the approval process from a simple click on the email or the text message. Thank you for joining us. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe to the NIMS and Associates user group on LinkedIn. Or if you have further questions, contact NIMS and Associates.